Hi, I'm Belinda Luscombe. I'm an editor-at-large at Time magazine. Today we're asking 10 questions of a man who is one of the most famous characters in the world and yet can walk in the street unrecognized, at least until now, when he's the subject of a new documentary. Kevin Clash, it's a pleasure, and Elmo, it's an even bigger pleasure. Hi, uh, thanks for having us. <laughs> Kevin, when people ask, you know, at parties or on a plane, <laughs> What it is you do? What what do you tell them? I tell I tell them I'm a performer with Sesame Street. I perform, direct, produce, Sesame. Yeah. And do they say, "Oh, would I know any of your work?" Well, what's funny is a, a flight attendant asked me, and uh, she said, "Oh, well, could you say something on the plane?" And I did as Elmo, and uh, all of the people on the aisle seats peeked out <laughs> as I as I walked out, and they said, "Man." <laughs> <laughs> the new documentary of you being Elmo. Uh, is is out now. How much of Elmo is actually you, <laughs> and how much of it is uh, some character that you, you made up? In no, that? it's it's you know all all of the characters that we create, uh, that we help create, is a part of us. Um, so he's just happened to be one of the the personalities of me. How long is it that you've been with Elmo now? Oof, uh, close to thirty years now. Do you ever? Honestly, do you ever, you can cover his ears, do you ever get sick of Elmo? No, you know, I really have a good time. Uh, it's, it's been a lot of fun over, over so many years because you're, you're performing, you know, so it's, it's a lot of fun. And, it's, and the script's all different. Uh, the music is all different. So it's, it's, been, it's been a great deal of fun. Are you surprised at how enormous he has become? Yeah, very surprised. Because you never know. There's no crystal ball. So you hope that what you're doing somebody will like. And uh, fortunately, fortunately, they do. Are you at all weirded out by all the adult fans that Elmo has? No, not at all. I mean, I, I, I'm, I'm really excited that a show, a children's program, has such a large uh, adult viewership without children. I think that's great because even, even I, I'm friends with uh, Whit Marcellus, who used to come in and do the show. He said it's the best variety show on TV. You, one day you, you, can, you can watch and there's Arrested Development. The next day is Yo-Yo Ma. Uh, you know, performing with these characters and stuff. It's, 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 uh, it, it's something that you could sit down and really, really enjoy. Are some actors more adept at performing with the puppets than others? The reason why we get so many celebrities in, in sports and, you know, across the board is, is because they gr either grew up watching the show, they, they have their own uh, children now and they want to show them that they're on the show. Um, so there's this connection for the show to be on that long and there's, there's this connection that they have. And so a lot of times they know the show. Elmo. Yes. Are you surprised that you have so many friends? No, Elmo's not surprised. Elmo loves friends. And they love Elmo. <laughs> uh, what do you think it is about you that people really like? Well, Elmo doesn't know. And we, we just get along. Have you had a, a, f a favorite play date? Well, Elmo hopes that Elmo gets to sing with Miss Barbara Streisand. Miss Barbara Streisand, yeah. that's exciting. And does Dorothy ever get jealous that you have you get to do all these duets? Well, she gets she gets kind of concerned when Elmo leaves and goes away for a long time. But Elmo skypes with her. <laughs> <laughs> Elmo, how, how do you react if people say mean things to you? Elmo does it. You don't react? Yeah. No. Doesn't bother you? Elmo has no idea or understand why. All right. And have you, Elmo, ever had? Deep. Thank you. <laughs> Elmo, have you ever had a fight with any of your friends? Have you ever had a fight with well, Big Elmo, Bird? Well, Elmo was kind of mad at Zoe once because Elmo, um, Zoe ripped Elmo's blanket. And how did but you she didn't do it on purpose. Elmo was just upset. And how did you resolve that? Elmo said he was sorry. And, and she helped Elmo sew her, his blanket together again. You know, Elmo, I think we could dispatch you to the Middle East. Maybe you could solve some problems there. Really? <laughs> Where's the Middle East? <laughs> Elmo, thank you Is so much. Is that close to Sesame Street? <laughs> Very. Oh, good! <laughs> Elmo, Kevin, thanks so much for doing this. Thank you for having us. Yeah. Everyone. If everybody else your age is doing something very different to what you're doing, there's always going to be someone saying that you might not succeed, you might not make any money with that. All of those things will go away. If you really focus on what makes you happy, 